What goes on, guys? We're back here again with yet another review. And today, we're taking a look at something I am extremely excited for. We're going to be taking a look at the brand new Hasbro Toys Marvel Legends Spider-Man 2. I guess they're marketing to Spider-Man 2, but it's actually from Spider-Man No Way Homes. Dr. Otto Octavius Doc Ock. Holy crap. I never thought we'd have this. Childhood me would be freaking out right now. Doc Ock, <clears throat> for the longest time, was my favorite Spider-Man villain. Until Mysterio came around, and I still like Mysterio better, but Doc Ock is a close second. Everybody always raves on Green Goblin, and Green Goblin's awesome, but I was always more of a Doc Ock guy. There's the barcode if you're looking for it, but the box looks great. Very reminiscent of the original Spider-Man movies, even though that's the No Way Home logo, so it's interesting that they what licensing goes into this, but I'm extremely excited to get this open. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do just that. And taking Doc Ock out of the package, holy shit. Look at this bad boy. I'm in love with this thing. The fact that he can do this makes me so happy. Holy crap. Because I don't have any space or any reason to get a comic Dr. Octopus. But I am doing a Spider-Man No Way Home display with just all the Spider-Man characters. And this is, this is so good. Like, just look at him just posted up, dude. The power of the sun in the palm of my hand. It, it, it's like, I can just picture Alfred Molina's voice emitting from this action figure uh, I, um words cannot describe how happy i am to have this thing I, I wanted this for a long time and honestly i can't believe it's a hasbro figure they did so much good stuff here and it just proves what i'm saying that they have the capabilities to do great things they just choose not to to be lazy and um, but if they do something good, like this damn figure, I am happy to call them out for it as well. This is awesome. So without further ado, let's get a closer look. Taking a look at old Alfred Molina's head sculpt here. They had to de-age him in the movie, but I don't really care. But that looks pretty damn good. I think I could heat them up and get the glasses on there a little bit better, but that could just be mine. Um, but that head sculpt is pretty amazing. It's almost got like a little bit of a five o'clock shadow or like a little bit of like a shaved mustache look. I love it. I love it. The hair sculpt is great. A little wash would have been nice. But then we go into the body. He's got that bigger bulky body with that nice texture on the sweater and the awesome belt that, you know, holds the arms on there. And then uh, what is awesome is not only do we get gold zippers painted, all the buttons painted on each side, but these are like layers in here. And that is amazing. That is so well done. The legs look good. A little bit uh, plasticky on the boots, but not, you know, that's a very small detail. That looks great with the layers in there. It, I, I can't get over how good that looks. God damn. And the legs will keep the jacket in place, which is really, really nice. And Hasbro, you see how you barely can see anything out there? I actually still have them present. Let's, let's do this. So Doc Ock puts his arm up. Here's the neck of toys. Ooh, he lost his head. Nosferatu. It's better on Doc Ock than most Hasbro figures, but NECA, you, you can see there's like nothing there. Why are we not learning how to do that? It's better here, and I'm not really upset about it. Just pointing it out. I have to be objective. But, man, I love the... I think these are new gloves because they look like Doc Ock's with like the three lines on there. And then, obviously, you get the legs. And they are a thick wire, like a thick boy wire. And I like that. That's totally cool. So... The silvery gunmetal gray that they used is great. I think a dry brush over with silver would do some amazing work here. And then you get the hands. And I didn't realize that these clenched and opened. That is awesome. That is awesome. So you get the red on the inside there. Looks great. And then these are the ones that you'll plant on the bottom to make them stand, which is really cool. He can stand without, you know, like he can just stand up on his actual feet too. Um... That's totally something he can do. Looks great. I have him leaning on the wall right now, but he can he can stand on there too. That looks just as good. He looks fantastic. He does come with a couple accessories. They're mostly just interchangeable hands and claw pieces, which is, you know, 
honestly, I think that's fine by me. So I'll just go into them really, really quick. You gotta do you do get a pair of open hands, just kind of like relaxed, clenchy hands. That's fine. I like that. It's nice to have them. And then you do get a pair of like clawed hands. So again, bring him in here just because he's here. It's kind of like this, like when he holds Peter up on the wall. Nosferatu is a lot bigger than the Hasbro. Um, he looks weird right out of head. He looks weird with the head, but um, it's it, it, the Hasbro Spider-Man is a lot smaller, so it, it should fit on there pretty good. But I like it. There's red paint on the inside there. Very nice, Hasbro. What, what's going on here? It's almost like you guys know how to make action figures, but damn. This thing looks awesome. Holy squit. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation. The head goes up about that far. It'll go down, pivot side to side. There's no ball joint at the neck, but that's perfectly fine for me. Shoulders go outwards that much. They go down. They rotate 360. You do get a bicep swivel and a rotating single jointed elbow that goes in that much. So, I like that. Single, um, the wrist swivel and hinge. The diaphragm joint is pretty good on this guy. He can crunch forward a little bit. The jacket's a little stiff back. And he will rotate up there, which is nice. The hips, he'll kick forward that far back. Upper thigh cut. You can go outwards about that far if you need him to. But, I mean, like, let's be honest here. His legs are just going to dangle. You do get double-jointed pinless knees that are kind of hard to use. Ugh. 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 Oh, there you go looks good and then the ankles go down all the way they go up far enough and then pivot so yeah again his legs are gonna dangle at least for me I, I mean like how do you get this version of Doc Ock and not have him standing on his legs come on on the like not his actual legs like on the arms how do you not want to do that people and he's really easy to stand like on his actual legs if you if you do want to do that like I know shelf Honestly, it probably saves you some, saves you some saves you some shelf space. Man, that was a tongue twister um, to have him on his robotic legs. But yeah, whatever. It, it looks fantastic. I cannot get over how good that this thing looks. Here he is next to the NECA Toys King Kong, along with the Hasbro or Jazzwares Fortnite Six Inch Series Peely. Here he is with the McFarlane Toys Dark Knight Returns Batman along with the Hasbro Marvel Legends X-Men series Darwin. And then just to prove my point, here he is with the Hasbro Marvel Legends What If series Zombie Captain America pushed up against the wall, balanced on his legs. It is so freaking cool. So, uh, if you couldn't tell, I think this thing's pretty awesome. I think the paint, the sculpt, and the articulation is great, and it just adds up to build such a fun factor on this guy. Nostalgia aside, he looks and moves perfectly, in my opinion. And considering that this is a Hasbro figure, I'm pleasantly surprised. Again, I may not be the biggest Hasbro guy out there, because I, I really think Marvel Legends and Star Wars Black Series in particular have gone down in quality over the years, but... Every once in a while, they hit you with a banger, as he falls. But they hit you with a banger, and and, and this is this is one of them. I put in my top ten of last year. I put Green Goblin in there. I won't say where he's ranked, just you know. So go check that out. And honestly, this is off to a great freaking year uh, for 2024 because I think this guy's gonna make my top ten. And the last video I recorded at the time of this is Nosferatu. And he's probably going to be in the top 10. So, if this keep, trend keeps up for the year, we're in for some good toys, ladies and gentlemen. Some good toys. So, with that being said, at a price point of, I paid $40 for this thing. I'm giving him a 10 out of 10. For 40 bucks. this is what I expect. Interchangeable hands. Bend you wires to do things that showcase the power set of the character. Interchangeable claw pieces. Good amount of paint. I don't care that he's falling because he's not going to fall on a non-slippery spinning surface. Um, good amount of paint, good amount of sculpt. I love it. So, 10 out of 10. With that being said, I believe that's all I got for today. So, if you have not already, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Then go ahead and follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Letterboxd. I post a lot on all three of those apps, and I have a great time, so I'm sure you will too. But as always, let me know. You cop in Doc Ock? Because if you don't,
you're kind of crazy. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Walk as long as I wanted to hop on here again and thank you all for watching and to let you know that if the following apps interest you, feel free to follow me on them as I put the links in the description for you guys. I really appreciate everything you all do for me, so DM me with any questions or thoughts. I'd love to sit and talk with you all. Again, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.